Hi Gemini Sun Moon or Ascendant, this is Dane and I am going to be doing your November 2019 full moon reading. Now this full moon will last, the energy of this full moon will last until the December full moon which will be also on the 12th. So let's just delve right into this Gemini Sun Moon or Ascendant and see how this moon will be affecting you. Now this is, let's just talk for a moment about this full moon. This is the beaver full moon and this moon is all about hard work, dedication, and why it is called the beaver full moon is, of course, if you're in the northern hemisphere, this is the time where beavers, and in cold climate, of course, this is the time where beavers start making their dams. So here you are, it is a time of hard work, and it is a time of hard work illuminated by the moon because beavers are nocturnal animals and they are working by the light of the moon. So this is going to be a time to really get things done. Now this is reiterated by the fact that this full moon is in Taurus. And this says your dreams need a practical plan. Now, with a full moon in Taurus, with this being a beaver full moon, this is going to be a time to really have a plan, have things set, and get things in order. Now, if you don't have a plan, because I know I'm a Gemini too, it's kind of like you fly by the seat of your pants at times. So here, utilizing the power of this full moon and the power that this full moon brings all the way to the 12th of December is going to be so beneficial for you, Gemini, because this is just going to be a time of being able to see a greater plan to things. You don't have to write things out and get all technical, but you can if you want to, because now is the time that you give practicality to your dreams and you start making your dreams a reality. Why? Because this full moon is a time where you surrender to the divine. That's what the full moon is all about. It's about surrendering to the to the divine and moving yourself forward and saying, okay, how am I supposed to get there? Where am I supposed to be? And you're going to find that you have divine guidance right with you. And that is going to carry with you from full moon to full moon. So it's always like you're staying in divine divine guidance. Yes, it does tend to get get less or less intense as time goes on, but there's a beauty here that you are absolutely embracing Gemini. Now I'm going to be doing a traditional reading if you've watched my channel before like I always do and then I'm going to be doing a moon reading with the moonology cards that we have up here we also have the new moon because we'll get to that in a minute so they're going to be layered and I'm just going to put the new moon the new moon the new moon the moonology there we go cards off to the side and I'm going to take the good tarot and see how will this new moon how will this new moon how will Gemini be affected by the full moon, by the November 2019 full moon. How will Gemini be affected by the November 2019 full moon? And remember, this lasts to, to December 12th. How will Gemini be affected by the November 2019 full moon? How will Gemini be affected by the November 2019 full moon? How will Gemini be affected by the November 2019 full moon? Show me clearly, show me clearly. Oh, fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, Gemini, is the ace of fire, the ace of wands. So there is passion here. There is God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing you a gift of passion. And this is going to be absolutely beautiful for you because it correlates with you having that practical plan. And I will get into everything, so I just don't keep talking and talking. All right, then you have the Wheel of Fortune. At your crown, everything is changing. The page of air, that's you, shining through as a page. You are seeing what you desire. You are constantly a student of what you want and how you're moving forward. And that's a beautiful place to be. Then you have the page of water. This is a water sign energy, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer, shining through. You have the King of Earth at your root. So you do have a lot of people showing up here, but you do have a lot of ways that you're moving forward. Always a a student of your heart and your mind. Here, a king of your prosperity. This is also that Taurus full moon really shining through here. As the king, you are the actor upon the stage. You are going after what it is that you want. People are taking note of the way you are utilizing your power. Then we have the seven of fire. Do not feel as if you have to defend yourself all the time. There is a magic to you. This is saying, <laughs> don't roll over and play dead, but don't, don't give anybody else your energy. Okay? by proving yourself to them. Then we have the king of air. I love that you go from being a student here to be a king, but as you progress, your, king, your kingliness, 
okay? Your power, you have a strong kingly energy here. So people are definitely taking note of you from the 12th to the 12th in the power of this full moon. Definitely guided by the light and the passion of the moon. People are taking note of you. And here, the kingship that you are embracing has to do with you opening up your heart and your mind to saying, I don't know everything. I will never know everything. And being almost a perpetual student, especially during this time. Then we have the nine of air, the nine of swords, swords, worries, doubts, and fears to come up. The queen of earth. Oh my gosh. So when you have, when I have in a reading, the king and the queen of the same suit from the same deck in the reading, this means a, a absolutely beautiful connection. This means a true love connection, a soulmate connection, just a beautiful power coming forward. And with this Taurus full moon and Taurus being represented by, <coughs> excuse me, by the, by the earth in the minor arcana, this is your power of being exemplified by the moon, being, you know, just light and bright and shining through. So this is absolutely gorgeous. And then you have the fool. You're starting a new journey. So let's talk about this for just a moment. Well, not a moment. Let's go delve into this reading. So here you have at your heart the ace of fire. Now this is a fire sign energy and Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Yes, this can be you taking this gift. Oh, that's why it had me say this. Okay, so we're jumping to the new moon. The new moon takes effect, what well, will be, on November 22nd, no, November 26th, and <coughs> it is in Sagittarius. Now, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the Sagittarian is really going to be here with luck is on your side. You have this luck on your side, and you will be cultivating it till the 26th, but after the 26th, it is going to be empowering you, it's going to be moving you forward, and it is going to be something that you are absolutely embracing. And it says here, a new start is coming with the new moon. So the new, the new moon says a new start is coming. So as you have this energy affecting you, it's going to be intensely infecti- affecting you to the 26th. After the 26th, it can start to die down a little bit. If you are very moon sensitive, it isn't going to die down. This is going to add an extra layer. Now, usually this layer can come almost as like an extra phase. So the new moon, the surrendering to the divine, not the new moon, the full moon of surrendering to the divine and the your dreams need a practical plan gets amplified now by the new moon of a new start is coming. So seeing new ideas as you surrender to the divine and you can feel yourself maybe not surrendering as much as you had done before. It can be kind of calming down. It depends on how sensitive you are. And then with your dreams needing a practical plan, you now have luck on your side. And you have a sense of, yes, practicality being important. But from the 26th on, you're also going to have, you're going to have luck on your side. And it's just going to be really quite, it's going to be enchanting. That's what the spirit is saying. So with this fire sign energy, you are embracing this divine surrender and it's towards your creativity, it's towards your passion and it brings you to the queen of earth which is the sense of this earth sign energy, this Taurus, this Virgo, this Capricorn. So you have the moon and you have the sun, not the moon. You have the full moon and you have the new moon coming together but it's also as if you have the moon and the sun coming together. Your passion shines brightly and there's just such a force to you during this time and it's at your heart. So know that you are going to be greatly affected by by the full moon and the new moon is going to is going to heighten that that effect that you have that it ha- is having on you. Yeah. I know I'm trying to say everything that spirit is saying. So just give me a moment. I'm just going to ask spirit to slow down just a bit. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so excited for you. Gemini. So here, passion, creativity is coming your way. There is a sense of surrendering to your passion, surrendering to what it is that you are supposed to be creating on this earthly plane. And as you do so, you become a queen. Now you're more, you're going to be more comfortable at your heart behind the scenes. People are going to be seeing you more. Okay. So there's going to be a bit of a war going on between being seen and hiding away. Well, not hiding away, but not having to be the center of attention. So 
at points people are going to pull you forward and kind of make you seen and it's going to not be exactly what it is that you want at that time but it's going to be what's necessary so here with the queen of earth just know at your heart your prosperity your success your your power during this time your passion your creativity is going to come from stepping back and that's going to be a real way of rejuvenating yourself of moving yourself forward and of guiding yourself towards what you desire then we have the wheel of fortune everything is changing now this says fortune's wheel so here you are completing a cycle but it's definitely a completion that your life is doing a 180 it's a completion that has been hard earned and at times you're going to feel from full moon to full moon from the 12th to the 12th that you know you're just holding on for the ride that everything is crazy that everything is up in the air and you're going to really doubt the fact that you can move forward in success the fact that you can get to where it is that you want to be and there's going to be doubts and fears and apprehensions and questioning yourself and really putting yourself down at times and making yourself think oh my gosh i can never get to where it is that i want to be that's going to be something that you battle against from full moon to full moon why because this is going to be a highly creative time it's going to be exemplified am i using the right word it's going to be amplified yeah it's going to be amplified that's the word i'm looking for by the new moon that's coming in so no here from the 26 your power your your force your dedication is going to be kind of heightened up even more it's kind of going to be taken to the next level with that can come insecurity you know can i ever do this am i ever going to get to where it is that i want to be you know it can also be working so hard that you don't let yourself sleep at night but there's something here that's robbing your sleep it can also be just being stressed and needing to tune out so what you do is you turn on your phone or yeah i i see it more as your phone it can be you read a book but that would help lull you there is something here where it's just like your attention gets pulled by something else and it stops you from sleeping and it's what's supposed to be calming you down but you're not going to feel as calm as you really want to be all right so as everything is changing you're going to think of <laughs> that's it you're going to also think of worst case scenarios like oh my gosh this is going to be terrible this is going to be horrible i can't possibly move forward this way or that way no that it's going to be part of the change that's coming and it's kind of like you almost have to see things at their worst to know that the best is coming the best is moving you forward beauty is guiding you then we have the king of earth now i love this combination this is really saying that this full moon is it's giving your dreams reality and you're going to be thriving off of the reality that your dreams are being given off of the power that you are embracing and accepting and so here there is a soulmate connection but there's also a soulmate connection to yourself a true love connection to yourself a sense of climbing claiming your power and knowing your truth and moving forward in this beautiful with this beautiful couple right here this beautiful you know powerhouse and at your root you are a king so here you have two kings shining through so one is you representing the air and you are represented by the air gemini in the minor arcana the other is your prosperity is your abundance so here earth sign energy and it's the taurus full moon coming through that is going to have such a profound effect on you i cannot even begin to express this enough there's a profound effect that opens your heart but brings you on a path and to a place of more prosperity of more bounty and more understanding of your truth and here it's saying you have this kingly energy around you you have this sense of prosperity you have this sense of bounty and the fool is saying it's time to take that leap of faith towards yourself towards where it is that you want to be towards what it is that you're creating and cultivating and how it is that you're moving forward now this leads you then to the seven of fire you're going to feel like you have to defend this as if it can fall away why because you get that feeling from the nine of air the nine of swords energy here it's kind of like you have to defend yourself this is worry this is doubt this is fear this is being up late at night you know not knowing where you stand you know overthinking things you become a student of what you want your mind is opening up and that's one of the reasons why the fear can come in because you're seeing how much you don't know you are seeing how much you desire the ways that you want to move forward passion starts to light your way and you think okay i'm going to take this wand and i'm going to defend myself i'm going to defend where i stand i'm going to defend what i want but it's saying here take this gift of passion and become a student of your heart 
become a student of your creation because the fire of your heart is just absolutely exquisite and it's going to be unstoppable. So here you are embracing love. This is a water sign energy also, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. As you embrace what you love, you are moving forward in a deeper truth. You are moving forward towards where you need to be and towards what it is that you want to cultivate and create. So know here that yes, you can feel like you have to defend yourself against a water sign energy from the 12th to the 12th, but I also see you really embracing your heart and you're becoming a student of the way your emotions directly impact your mind and the power that you build from there. The fool is saying, take a leap of faith towards the success. You're going to hold this more to, to your heart. You're not going to want to share this with everyone. It can become shared with somebody, like you share it with one person and then all of a sudden that person tells somebody else and it explodes. So here there is a sense of needing to to embrace an understanding of self and to to know the way that you are moving forward, first from an emotional standpoint, and then how that affects your mind, how it affects the vision that you see of the dream that you have. Then we have the king of air. This is you. Gemini, again, you are represented by the air sign in the minor arcana, by the lovers in the major arcana. So you're coming through as a king. You might not be able to help the fact that people take note of you, that you are seen during this time. There's a tremendous sense of knowledge coming your way, of you utilizing the knowledge and your creativity. Your mind is working on overtime. Now for you, Gemini, that's going to be that your mind is working quite a lot. And there's a sense of, of new ideas coming your way. And also, you're not going to show yourself fully to everyone. There's a sense of kind of being, of holding yourself back just a bit. And that's where this, this queen of earth is going to correlate with this king of air. The sense of you, you coming together with your passion, with your creativity, and with, with your mind to really see where it is that you want to be. And that leads you to a place of always seeing yourself kind of as a student, never sitting there, and especially during this time, thinking that you, there's too much, you like, not too much, but you can think that there's too much to learn, but never thinking that you will not, that you know it all, okay, that you will not be able to expand, because this is a huge time of expansion for you, of looking at things, and cultivating, and seeing new lights, and new ideas, and then this brings you to the nine of swords where you think, oh my gosh, you know, am I going to be able to move forward the way that I want to? Is everything going to be okay? That's why you kind of have, not kind of, but that's why you have this balance of this, you know, royal energy, this, this kingly, queenly energy to you during this time of doubt and feeling like you have to defend yourself because everything is changing. And the fact that you are going to kind of, you're going, not kind of, you're going to be holding on to the sense of, I have every right. I have tremendous power. That is going to be what changes the game for you and moves you into the passion that the surrender, the surrender to the divine is giving you. So let's see now, how is Gemini going to be affected by the full moon? from full moon to full moon. So we're asking the moon cards, the moonology cards, and of course one fell on the floor, so let me just go and grab that. Oh my goodness, this is so silly. Okay. So we're just going to set this one to the side and we'll have that be at your heart since it made itself loudly and clearly known. All right, so show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. How will you be, how is the moon? affecting Gemini from December, from November 12th to December 12th. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Fantastic. All right. So at the heart of everything right here is the blue moon. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Crowned by the full moon in Cancer. I'm just going to lay these out and then go through them as I went through the reading and how they correlate with the cards. I'm just taking it all in. I do know I'm being quiet and usually I do not like to sit here and be quiet when I have you guys, just give me a moment. Okay, 
So at the heart of everything here, you have this gift of passion, so this connection with the divine, and then the moon is saying here, believe in the impossible. Believe in the impossible. That's it. Gemini, that's like it for you. Believe in the impossible because your passion, your creativity is coming forward. And the blue moon is saying that the impossible is possible. And that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune here is paired at your crown. Oh, goodness. I'm jumping ahead. So at your root, it's believe in the impossible paired with the Ace of Fire. And then we have the Queen of Earth at your, at your heart and the South Nod. So it says, don't let your past hold you back. So as you are embracing this queenly energy, as you are moving forward in your truth, do not let your past hold you back or do not let the past hold you back. It doesn't have to be your past. It can be somebody else's past. It can be from a past life. It can be, you know, a family member who had a bad experience with something and then they told you, oh no, don't do this. And now you are setting yourself free. You're looking at things anew. And then at your crown, we have the full moon in Cancer, which says a personal, a personal issue reaches resolve and you have life doing a 180. So there is something that is being let go. There is something that is being released and it sets your life into doing a 180. And it can be because this change is coming that there is this release that leads you forward. Then we have the nine of air, worry, doubt, fear. With new moon eclipse, expect powerful change. So the reason why there is this sense of of not being where you want to be, of worrying, of fearing, of doubting, is because there is a powerful change coming. And you can feel it, and you don't know how to prepare for it. It's not going to be something you can prepare for, Gemini. It is simply going to be something that happens and that is. And then we have the cardinal rule, the cardinal rule, the cardinal moon with the king of earth. And it says, be bold and make the first move. So with the king of earth, you're absolutely able to do that, to embrace the boldness about yourself, to sit there and say, I have every right to move forward in my power, in my truth, and go after what you want on this earthly realm. You are going to feel emboldened and you are going to feel invigorated. The fool with the mutable moon says nothing is yet set in stone. So you can take the leap of faith, of faith that you want. Nothing is set in stone. You can, you can make your world into what you want it. And you are making your world into what you want it, Gemini. Then we have the seven of fire with the void the void of course moon, it says nothing will come of the situation. So with you defending yourself, with you sitting there and saying, okay, I, I have the high ground, I'm going to have to defend myself, I know where I stand, I know what I want, nothing will come of you defending yourself. That sounds odd. No, nothing, spirit says no, that's wrong. Nothing will come of you wasting your energy, proving yourself to others. Either they will see your worth or they won't. Either way, you're still moving forward. So don't hold yourself stagnant. Don't sit there and, mean, and think, I have to have them see where I'm standing, what I want. You know, because those who will see, those who understand, they will automatically come to your side over time. But th there are going to be people who will never see and you will get nothing from, from this, right? This is also saying don't roll over and play dead, but don't, don't waste your energy on people who don't matter. That's really what I'm seeing here. Then we have the page of waters and the new moon in Taurus. It says, prosperity lies ahead. So be a student of your heart. Be a student of what you desire because prosperity lies ahead. And never, never think you know it all because you're going to see some beautiful twists and turns along the way. Gemini, that yes, can bring you to, the knee, to your knees, but are also going to be astoundingly breathtaking. the king of swords, the king of air, with the full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. And that's what the king is saying here. 
Look at the bigger picture. Look at your passion. Look at what it is that you desire. This is definitely you having the new moon, okay, is go in Sagittarius is going to have an effect on you because this is a full moon reading. So you have the full moon here in Sagittarius, but the new moon will be in Sagittarius on the 26th. So it's kind of like a double message. The the full moon in Taurus is greatly impacting you, but the new moon gives you a sense of luck and a sense of power with it. So here you move forward in that truth, in that power, in what it is that you want, and you're looking at things anew. You're looking at things with a renewed sense of vigor and determination. Also, you your your sister sign is Sagittarius, Scorpio, Scorpio, uh, Gemini. So know here that that the power of communication, the power of connecting with people is going to be really strong for you. The page of air with the new moon in Libra says a new romantic cycle begins. Be a student of what your heart and your mind want. Okay, that's why you have the page of waters with the page of air. Your heart and your mind are going to open up a new love to you. So new romantic cycles begin. New romantic endeavors begin, but also a new sense of love. It doesn't mean that you have to be falling in love, but it's going to be a new sense of love coming into your life and leading you forward, though it can very well be romantic love. That brings you to the new moon eclipse. Expect powerful change with this love that comes in, and it says, with the south nod, don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past stop you. You're moving forward towards your truth, towards what you want. And as you do so, you are going to find that this, from new moon to, from full moon to full moon, you are empowered in a way that you hadn't expected, hadn't anticipated, and are absolutely delighted in. Your subconscious message is the seven of waters. Visualize, visualize, visualize what you want, where you want to be, and how it is that you want to move forward. Don't give in to daydreaming. Don't sit there and just only dream about it. Now it's time to do it. This is, this is the time of action. This is really the time of going after what you desire. And then we have here the full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. So as you're dreaming about and thinking about and planning your future, know that you are good enough and believe that you are good enough. All right, Gemini. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. And may harmony always be with you. Bye.